Good morning. It's Sunday, March 7th. I'm so glad you're with us, and I hope everyone's doing great. I've talked before about my love-hate relationship with commercials, and that's still the case. And I've had a lot of opportunities over the past year to see a lot of commercials. The ones that I like are the ones that make me laugh, the ones that make me cry, and the ones that make me think. One that I've been thinking about recently is the Hershey's Chocolate commercial. In it, there are two cute little girls. They're probably sisters. And there's a narrator off camera. And the narrator gives the little girls some directions to follow. The first direction is take a piece of chocolate if you're the tallest. Both little girls start to reach for the candy, but then one stops and the other one takes the piece of chocolate. I guess she's the tallest. The second direction is take a piece of chocolate if you're better at eating your vegetables. Both little girls take a piece of the candy. Hmm. And the third and last direction is take a piece of chocolate if you love sharing. Both of the little girls hesitate. And then one of them takes a piece of the candy and gives it to her sister. I love the ending of that commercial because it makes me think, just like I imagine it made the little girls think. Maybe they were thinking that they didn't like sharing. And let's be honest, sometimes we don't. Maybe they were thinking that if they took the candy, it would not be sharing. And maybe the little girl who took the candy and gave it to her sister was thinking that she was using her choice to prove that she did like sharing. She could have taken the candy and eaten it, but she didn't. She chose to follow that direction in the best way possible. I want us to talk today about freedom and about making choices. We hear a lot about freedom on TV and books, on social media, and we certainly cherish our freedom. A lot of people have worked and sacrificed and even died to give us that freedom. And we enjoy many freedoms that people around the world don't. We're very fortunate and we can't take that for granted. What I want us to concentrate on today is that freedom is about making choices. Freedom doesn't mean free for all or free to do anything we want. I've noticed that in situations where people were allowed to do whatever they want, maybe in a classroom or at a party, at a sporting event or in a job, something usually goes wrong. Someone gets hurt. Something gets broken, someone gets mad, or the job doesn't get done. Have you ever been to the fair a day when your parents or the grown-ups that you're with allow you to eat pretty much whatever you want? Maybe you have corn dogs and fried Oreos and cotton candy. Maybe you drink soda and eat popcorn. And what usually happens? You get a bellyache. Am I right? And I bet you're familiar with the story of Pinocchio, the little wooden puppet who becomes a real boy. That's really gaining freedom. But Pinocchio makes some bad choices. He tells a lie, and when he does, his nose begins to grow. Then he tells another lie, and another. And each time, his nose continues to grow. Quite a problem. Freedom isn't always simple. In today's scripture, in John chapter 8, verses 31 through 36, Jesus tells the people who have gathered around him that when we sin, we become a slave to it. We are not free. 
when we choose behaviors that are harmful to us or to others, we become a slave to them. We find ourselves repeating those behaviors. When we eat too much, we get a bellyache. When we lie, it hurts our families, our friends, and those who trust us. When we choose not to share, we keep others from getting what they need. And when we think we are always right and righteous, we rob others of their freedom. I read a quote recently that said, our freedom to swing our arms ends just before the other person's nose. God doesn't want us to sin. He wants us to be free. We have to remember not to choose behaviors that go against what God has shown us is good and right for all of his people. He wants us to be free from sin, free to live a life where we can love and be loved by him, where we can do what is right for us, for others, and for our world. This is what he has planned for us. And this is the greatest gift of freedom that he's given us through his son Jesus, through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. And when we remain close to him, when we belong to him, we will always be free. Let us pray. Dear God, the freedom that you gave us to love and be loved by you is the greatest freedom of all. Thank you. Help us to use that freedom to make good choices. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for being with us this week. Hope we'll see you here every Sunday. Hope we'll see you back in church in person soon when that's the right time for you. And I hope you'll have a great, great week. We love you. God loves you. God bless. Bye-bye.